okay <laughs> hey guys welcome back long, long time sun. no video on the channel <laughs> oh ready now yeah, sunny's on ready to go yeah. we're selling the van Alex and Joel, why are you selling your van? <laughs> this was your whole channel and... Whole dream. The whole dream. We worked six months to build this van and now we're just selling it. Why? Greener pastures. Yeah, there's just greener pastures. Okay. I'd love to keep the van in an ideal world. It's a great source of freedom. Mm -hmm. As much as we loved van life, for me, it's what I want to do again in the future. I mean, I loved it so much. Probably the best experience I've had. Well, this is like the remotest area near near <laughs> us that we can get to and there's still so much it's noise like pollution. Rural traffic. The reality is we just couldn't find a um, sustainable source of income to allow us to live in the van full time. Don't worry, we're still going to be traveling, still going to be adventuring. And we're gonna take you guys along our next adventures, which is hopefully very soon. Stay tuned. We love her so much. We mm. don't wanna sell her, but we're having to. This is just a little video about getting the van ready and kind of our last video with the van. Um, the end of the van series. Mm. This is the end of van life for us for now. This is a 2008 Mercedes Sprinter, long wheelbase, high roof, a really solid and sturdy van. There's 600 watts solar on the roof. The panels are actually mounted on gas struts so that you can tilt them either side. There's 150 litres of underslung fresh water, about 60 litres of waste, a fully waterproof shower room with compostable toilet and overhead cabinet there, an airing cupboard at the back for all your wet gear or sports gear, Snowboard, snowboard boots, skateboard, they're all included, which is connected to the diesel heater, so that room gets warm air and is ventilated as well. 60 litre 12 volt fridge there, two burner gas stove, and the gas is all airtight there, and it has ventilation through to the outside of the van. Guitar in the wardrobe there, comes with the fan in case you want to have a little jam. The bed pulls out to a pretty massive, like it's over 200 centimetres and plenty of storage space underneath. A handy Stanley travel toolkit there with 12 volt Makita power tools, 12 litre water heater there for the shower and your sink, your hot taps, 240 volt plug sockets and USB ones as you can see and RCDs and fuses on all of the electrical components. It's a 3000 watt inverter so you have plenty of power to charge everything and a pretty big 80 amp solar charger. So everything's very safe and very functional for the high power system that we have in the van. You'll have plenty of power in this van, trust me. I can't believe we're selling Sandy. <laughs> hey, what's happening, man? What's happening, man? Just some preparations on the van. I plugged the OBD sensor in, which is a really handy little tool to have it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Passenger side, there's a little um, control box ECU here. There's a panel, you just drop that down. There's a little thing for it already in there. It's an OBD. It's called an OBD2 sensor. What are we doing today? Being very serious today. No fucking around, no dancing, no fun. No, I just can't film when you're like frantically moving around in the background doing that. I was warming up. Today we're gonna go to Wix, grab paint. The kitchen needs painting. Let's go to Wix. Are Alex is being facetious. Yeah. Are we going for a terracotta colour? I say just get white and then let them, whoever buys it, can do their own colour scheme. Okay. Just white. Just white. Mm -hmm. It's Saturday, it's the busiest DIY day of the week. Did we have yeah. natural wicker? Yeah, didn't we had natural wicker. Okay, almond white looks like it would be quite nice. Yeah, I don't know, I like, I like the wicker. Isn't it just a lot warmer and cosier? White's too white, isn't it? Natural too much there. stuff. Okay, well, let's not go too crazy, shall we? Let's not break the old bank just yet. Let's see what. <laughs> I want to film the checkout. Why? 
I just do. Okay. She is very, very dirty. I haven't been in here in so long. See you later. See you later. The van is gross. Secured the paint and everything we need. Now it's time to clean this mess up. Joel lived in it for a month when he went to Ireland. Joel went to Ireland for a month in it. It is all my fault. <laughs> it's his mess. I can't even deny that. But we'll get it done. Brief interlude, our neighbour's just given us Christmas gifts. <laughs> and this one's Joel's. And that one's Joel's. <laughs> Am I zoomed in? No. Today is just one of those days where the last thing I want to be doing is going outside and painting the van. It's what we gotta do. Joel's been out on the van and I'm about to go and join him and hopefully get the first coat of paint done so we can take photos of the interior to put up on the advert. I can't believe we're selling Sandy. And got to sort this out. Alex is going to carefully manoeuvre that board out of that tight space. She reckons she's got it. Oh, I don't know. Caught on something. <laughs> the leash. Oh, there we go. There we go. And she's gone and done it. I've done it a million times. Oh, you had a little bang there. Million times. Where have you? Why have you got that right there? Oh. <laughs> Classic. If anyone remembers my doggo Arthur from the van build, he's back helping us. The bed is away. The floor just needs a really good deep clean everywhere. Really, I need to wash out all of these jars under here. Joel is currently working on the engine doing something. So it seems we have lost two jars from under here. We brought them into the house and they never came back in the van. So I think I'm going to have to install two new jars under here because we can't just have a jar lid and no jar. Let's go over to the department of Joel and see what's happening. What have you been doing I all day? I don't know, I'm not really ready. I can do one if you want, but I'm not really ready, but I can anyway. We're just checking. What, do a round uh, up? <laughs> yeah, look, if that's what the fangs want. The power steering fluid. Uh, and you did so a new, is that a new expansion it tank we've got yeah. going on over Coolant. there? I've done lots of little things, little services that need yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's basically had a spring clean with engine stuff has she not she has indeed toilet floor and kitchen sides have all had a deep clean now what i'm gonna do is just take out everything from the cupboards that we are keeping we literally have an entire packet of toilet roll yeah. we have like laundry stuff you realize how valuable this stuff is once you move out basically we're leaving all of the stuff in the van that you're gonna need to have a really good time. But we're taking the pans. Today is painting day. I'm just gonna give the inside a quick one over with another coat of paint because in some of the places, definitely, needs doing. A guy is coming out today to put a new windscreen on Sandy. Anything else happening today? Coffee. Coffee. Well, you want me to live Tell it to this <laughs> land This little guy is stopping the van from passing the MOT. The lamp there, you can maybe see it. That bit of trim comes off really easy. Just pop it off to get a new bowl. She's good to go. She's looking good. Joel gave Sandy a deep clean. The colour just looks so good. 
when the black is really clean. It's a quite a few days later now. I think the last time I said I was gonna paint, basically it's just been so cold that we haven't been able to paint. There's a part that needs to be ordered to fix the heater, the conversion heater. I'm gonna have to turn on the engine and just run like the van heaters while I paint today. This baby needs to get sold. Do you know what I mean? I need to paint today, otherwise, because it, it's just getting too late. So this morning, I have grabbed the sugar soap, sprayed down all the surfaces that I'm going to repaint. I decided to get the Wix own brand masking tape. Don't do that. It's so awful. We had to go and invest in frog tape. And it makes the job so much easier. We're actually going to do it today. Masking tape. Let's get the heating on. Ew! Heating all the way up. All of them! On. On. <laughs> Just blew sand in my face. First layer of paint. Up here, top of the kit, the whole kitchen basically, the tall cupboards, this whole area up there. I've now just kind of got to sit in here until it's dry because I can't exactly leave the van running. Hopefully, painting is done. 